Hi there, it's Rob Sayer. Welcome to a short video on the next stage of using your lighting data extracted from AutoCAD in order to generate your paperwork. If you remember in previous videos, we've used blocks to make lighting symbols, we've used attributes to display the data, um, and we've also extracted the data into some kind of meaningful format in Excel. When I last left you, we had um, some data which we had extracted. Um, we had things such as the the uh, lantern uh, type based on the block name, but also we had uh, the type uh, attribute there. We also had a color, we had the purpose and position, um, and we had other things like the, um, the rig position and stuff like that. What I've got here for a demonstration today is a quick one, is I've just got a little bit more data in uh, my spreadsheet now. So on this sheet you'll see this is the uh, data itself, and I've just added up some titles here just to help me uh, remember which of these things is. So the original one, if you remember, was the block name, the second one was the colour. Obviously in lighting, uh, we often generate quite a bit of paperwork in order to be able to put the systems together and also to fault find and, and, and record uh, the various lighting systems and schedules and stuff. And so what I wanted to look at there here today was how we're going to create that. Now, I've created some examples here. Um, for example, if you look at this data here, it wouldn't take you much of a leap of the imagination to work out how you can make things like a channel schedule. So um, just with a quick reorder, uh, ordering things by channel with the name um, and the position and things like that, and then a notes column, you could tidy that up and make it much nicer. The thing that other things that you can do is, for instance, you can use this to do uh, a count of stuff. So uh, other um, uh, information such as, for instance, a count of lantern types or whatever. Uh, there's also an example here uh, of um, the uh, color broken down by lantern type and by uh, fixture itself. So this is what we're going to make today. We're just going to make a quick one of these as another example. What we need to do is we need to start off with the data itself, the original data, and basically we can select up the data. Um, in this case, I'm just going to do it by selecting the rows uh, that we're using. Um, and then the thing we're going to make the uh, paperwork out of is we're going to make out of a thing called a uh, pivot table. Now, in Excel, pivot table is under the data tab, or you can look under the data drop-down window here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a pivot table and we can create a manual one. Uh, for, for example, we're not going to get Excel to set us anything up. So it basically says what's the range uh, of data you're using. We've already selected that and we're going to create a new worksheet and it's going to be in this particular drawing. So we're going to OK. So we can see on the left hand side here is we can see that there is a... a sort of a, a, a enter a, a blank area, if you like, of things. And then there's this bit builder of the pivot table itself. Now, in order to add the, make the color cut list, we need to add the color data. Um, and we also need to add the lantern type. Um, but that hasn't really created what we want. We know we want to have those two bits of data in there, but it hasn't really sort of sorted out uh, uh, what we would need. What we want is our lanterns to be down here, down on the rows. So we're going to drag the type down into row labels. Um, that's kind of created something that it looks like what we want. But what we, what we want really is we don't want the color on the rows. We want the color on the columns. So we're going to move the color over to the columns itself. So we've started to build what we want, really. Uh, the thing in here, basically, is we've got the color on the columns. So each column is labeled by color type. We also have the type of fixture on the rows. So that's down on the left-hand side. And the thing that we've got here, which we haven't, um, we haven't set, uh, because it, it came in automatically for us, was the, the how we set what's in the values itself. What we want is a count of the fixtures that have that color in them. So we need to go back to our type and drag it into the values area. And now you can see now we've got labels that include the color themselves by fixture type, some totals and things. You can turn the totals on and off. Uh, or you can just delete them. But you can see exactly how quick it could be to um, create this color cut list um, from the data, from the original data that we had here. The thing with Excel is sometimes you might need to make sure that you have refreshed um, the data itself on the pivot table. So um, there's options here under pivot table 
um, to make sure you do a refresh all. The reason is is that if you actually change the data in the original data set, it doesn't always it doesn't always update. So you just need to if you do, for instance, make changes to your colors and, um, and maybe your fixture types or whatever. Bearing in mind that this information has come off the plan, so you wouldn't necessarily really want to change the data much. Um, you do need to hit refresh on the pivot table itself, so just check that out. Once you get into building pivot tables, obviously you can build lots of other things, like for instance I've got here a list of things by position. So I've got the lighting uh, position in LX1, LX2, LX3, and the number of units on each type. Um, obviously all this is as good as the original data, so the, the original data is here. The original data came out of the AutoCAD drawing, and again, that's as good as it is when you put it in. So if you put lots of data into the drawing, obviously you can extract it out. If you don't, then you don't get anything out. Hope that's been useful. See you soon.